Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Insane red hen owner wasn't done with Sarah, stalked her family, and now things are getting worse. It was a telling moment for Sarah Sanders as the White House press secretary was shunned from a red hen restaurant in Virginia. It wasn't that she was refused service that was the worst part, it was the chaos that ensued shortly after that spoke volumes about what transpired while simultaneously telling the truth about the character of some of the people involved. Sanders was rejected service at the Red Hen in Virginia and she left peacefully. She wrote about it on Twitter and seemed to respect the decision of the restaurant to not serve her. Sanders and whomever she was with traveled elsewhere to another restaurant. One might think that the situation ended there, with Sanders just having a bite to eat somewhere else. But according to Laura Ingram that wasn't so much as close to what happened. Getting kicked out of the first restaurant was just the tipping point of the iceberg that crashed straight ahead into chaotic oblivion. According to Ingram, it was Mike Huckabee who told her that the owner of Red Hen followed Sanders and her people to the restaurant across the street and staged a nasty protest against them. Not only was she, Stephanie Wilkinson, refusing service to someone based on her personal opinions, she was also inciting protests across the street and disrupting customers at another location allegedly. It's quite disturbing to know that one restaurant owner would allegedly follow customers to another restaurant and completely disturb the pieces people were eating. Huckabee also mentioned that some of the people who Sarah Sanders was with were liberal. That's evidence that people of all political spectrums can still be friends and family even if they disagree on political topics. That shows the true tolerance of people who respect each other's views, even if they disagree with them. That's something that Stephanie Wilkinson might want to figure out if she wants her business to survive. She dissed Sarah Sanders and alienated some of her customers, so it will be interesting to see if the Red Hen stays in business much longer. Here are the tweets from Laura and Graham's Twitter account that show the source of this information. The Advocate told more about the initial incident that lead to this part. Wilkinson told The Washington Post that her decision to ask the White House press secretary to leave on Friday night stemmed from her gay employees. Many were upset by Sanders's defense for the administration's ban on transgender service members, currently tied up in the courts. Sanders also recently praised a Supreme Court ruling that sided with an anti-gay baker who refused service to a gay couple and said the president was okay with businesses posting signs that said LGBT people weren't welcome. Sanders also stood by while her boss separated migrants from their children at the southern border. Tell me what you want me to do. I can ask her to leave, Wilkinson told her staff, according to the Post. They said yes. Wilkinson drove to a restaurant after being alerted that Sanders entered the restaurant with her husband and a group of other adults. The party had been served drinks and cheese boards by the time Wilkinson asked the press secretary if she could have a word with her outside the dining room. The restaurant owner described stammering as she spoke to Sanders, but telling her that the restaurant operated with standards of honest, compassion, and cooperation, words that don't comport with Sanders's job performance. Wilkinson admits Sanders quickly agreed to leave and her party quietly departed. Still, Sanders later sent a tweet out from her official account that named and shamed the restaurant, helping to contribute to thousands of negative restaurant reviews for the Red Hen. The political climate of the extreme left has gotten out of control. They seem to have lost respect for those who have different opinions. Has President Trump caused the Democrats to self-destruct? It seems like each time someone tries going after President Trump or his associates, the plot backfires and makes them look bad. The Red Hen is a perfect example of how going after Sarah Sanders could have totally backfired. If the Red Hen loses a lot of customers, then how will they remain in business? How will their business grow if they have alienated a portion of their customers based on politics? Is this another reason why politics needs to stop mixing with every form of entertainment from food, sports, movies, etc.? Is the behavior of Stephanie Wilkinson considered violent and extremist? Was it morally acceptable for her to allegedly follow Sarah Sanders and her people to another and stir up trouble while people were minding their own business? What has happened to the respect and dignity on the Democrat side of politics? People like Maxine Waters are calling for action against people who support the American president. How is that going to help anything? Doesn't that seem a bit extreme when someone is a politician and calls for that sort of uncivilized behavior from their fellow Americans? Is there any reason that people who do these actions could be committed of a crime? It should be noted that the Red Hen in New Jersey is unrelated to the one who kicked out Sarah Sanders. The Red Hen in Virgin is who kicked her out. The Red Hen in New Jersey is still good. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.